Well, hello, good people. So if you look at my settings here, I've got a prompt ready to go and uh, I'm going to create an image 960 by 1728. We're going to go ahead and click generate. I'm using the Dream Shaper Lightning model. You may or may not be aware, but SDXL is trained on a 1024 by 1024 aspect ratio. So the further away you go from that, the more you're prone to get results like this, deformed bodies, double heads that type of thing this was more prone with stable diffusion 1.5 but it's still possible with sdxl text to image it doesn't work that way you just can't put in 1920 by 1080 and expect to get good results now the great thing is with web ui forge they have something here that can help with this and that is the koya hr fix integrated but what we're going to do is click on enable and for the settings here I found for block number anywhere between three to five works well. I wish I could tell you what this means. <laughs> <laughs> but the documentation on this stuff is terrible. Just from my own experimentation, I find three to five works well. And I'm going to show you something later on why that is. Downscale factor, I find three to five also works well. I tend to use three to four. Start percentage, I always leave it at zero. End percentage, 0.35, although I've gone up to 0.5 as well. But those are the settings that I would stick with. Downscale factor is like taking this image and downscaling the resolution in a sense so that you get something more coherent. So let's go ahead and generate this image. And now you see that we have a more coherent image at this resolution. Now it's not perfect. There are some weird things happening here. So that's where you would have to adjust these numbers accordingly. I could bring the block number down to three, downscale factor to four. I normally don't touch the start and end percentage. I find this is the best, but let's go ahead and compare and see what's the difference between the two. Now here's the first image we generated and I want you to see when I flip to the new one, how much it changes, right? So it still looks great, but you'll notice weird things like this. See the car, it's tiny. <laughs> and you also want to pay attention to things in the background where they just don't seem right. Tons of signs back here. I mean, that could look good. Let's scroll down to the bottom here. Other than the car, everything else looks pretty good. But in the previous image we generated, see there's no tiny cars, everything looks coherent. Now going back to the settings, if you look at this image, it's got these weird colorful dots. Looks like glowing particles, almost as if the diffusion process isn't complete. So this is with a block number of two. We have a downscale factor of three, start percentage is the same, zero, end percentage is 0.35. So although the downscale factor looks fine, obviously the block number is too low. This is how it looks with a block number of one. So that's why I was saying between three to five works pretty well. There's probably no reason to go higher than that. And in this image, I used a downscale factor of two. And at first it looks fine. But if you look at her lower abdomen here, it looks still elongated, right? That's why I said earlier where the downscale factor to me, it's like it's shrinking this elongated image to something that's more coherent. Once again, downscale factor, in my opinion, three to five works best. Here's another one with a block number of five where everything looks pretty decent actually. Downscale factor of three. It just has a few more details in the background. So in this case, this works really well. But keep in mind, this is relating with people. I didn't do it with cars or anything like that, but I can assume you'll get very similar results. And this isn't the same as the usual high res fix that we all normally use. This will work with both Stable Diffusion 1.5 and SDXL. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about dynamic thresholding, which has to do with CFG and also FreeU, which basically has to do with overall details and finer details. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until those next videos, I'll see you when I see you.